we all seem to be uh, itching to get out and explore. Well, that's exactly what we'll be doing all week in a special series called Fox 9 Footprint. Yeah, Mayor Roscoe kicks it off by putting her footprint on Hastings, a small town with big time attractions on the Mississippi River just 30 miles southeast of the metro. Welcome to Hastings, a town that has two rivers running by it, the Mississippi and the St. Croix. But it has one river running through it, and that's the Vermilion. These are Vermilion Falls, an urban waterfall that's 35 feet high, and it gets my vote for best hidden gem in Hastings. According to my photographer and Hastings resident, Chip Elmquist, one of the best buys in town is right here at the Hastings Dairy Store. Oh, looks like you beat me to it. That's the best buy in town. It is. Good to you. See? Chip said so. Well, as that gentleman knows, one dollar shakes are the best buy here at the cream. Oh, do you always serve them up that big, or is that just for me? You can make them as big as you like. Really? That's, Absolutely. that's the beauty of self-serve. Yeah. So, um, David Zwart, manager yes. here at the store, um, tell me about your $1 shakes. Well, this well, is a classic that has been around for a while. We've been in existence for 102 years, uh, located always in Hastings. And uh, approximately about 40 years ago, they started with the soft-serve shakes. And that's uh, kind of what we're known for, our own little secret. We approximately have 100 owners that we bring in milk from in Wisconsin and Minnesota. Uh, they're located within about a 60-mile radius of our facility. It's all of our owner's milk. We don't bring any outside milk in. So we have a very tight control over the quality, and therefore the, the quality shows in the finished product. Feel free to make your answer as long as possible. <laughs> so, I'll be here. Across from the creamery is a building that has also been around for a long time. This is the William G. LeDuc House, and it was completed in 1865. It's on the National Register of Historic Places. Now, LeDuc was a lawyer who moved here from Ohio, and he took this property as payment for his services. The Minnesota Historical Society bought this property in the late 1950s. It was the first property they ever bought. Here's another building you might recognize in downtown Hastings. It was built in 1865. It's the Guardian Angels Church. Now, if you remember going to Catholic Mass here, you might not recognize it inside because it's been reborn as an art center and it's breathing life into the cultural community here. Inside now with Travis Lockwood, he and his wife, Sarah, bought this church and you're turning it into? It's the Hastings Art Center. The Hastings so, Art Center. Yeah. Fabulous. So, so how did you get the idea to do this? Um, well, we've been thinking about it for a while. Um, she has been teaching out of her home, uh, has several students. And Music, you're both musicians. Both musicians, mm -hmm. um, primarily I'm a physician, work here in town with Elena. And, um, but she teaches uh, violin and viola and piano. You also have visual artists represented. Yes, so we have lots of uh, local artists here that were part of the grand opening. And then we will be having some art classes um, opening up. You must be getting the idea by now. There are a lot of historic buildings in Hastings, and people even live in some of them, like these two. These are homes on the West 2nd Street Residential Historic District. There's even a house shaped like an octagon. Back to you.